Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, today's Saturday, August 22nd, 2020, and I got a happy birthday shout out going out to Andrew Henneski and Ron Gary and Larry Newman. So, without further ado, here's a first birthday shout out song for you. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today, so happy birthday, I will say. You know, you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. I say, hey, Ron, and Larry, and Andrew, hey, you know what? I heard it's your birthday today, so happy birthday, I will say. You know, you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. And many more. Cha 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 cha. Hey, hey, hey. Cha cha. Alrighty, I got some new, uh, I mean, some supporters. That's right, Shinsho supporters. And uh, those Shinsho supporters would be uh, Stephanie Pedrole, Mindy Mackenberg. Um, Mary Jalabuena, Leone Pe- Pereza Pedroli, um, Mindy, uh, Mindy, um, Mac- oh, I already got that, uh, Fernandez, oh, that's what it is, L- Leone Pedereza Fernandez, Ginger Gaunt M- Mullins, Lynette um, Breckensick, and yeah, Stewart. Those are my new supporters. Oh, plus, I've got Facebook poke shout out going out to none other than Amanda Sue Little. So thank you for the poke and thank you all for the likes and spreading the support. Um, this is such a great, great thing that you people do each and every day. Did I put Martin Kelly on there? No. Of course not, and I take him for granted because he's always on there, so I forget to put his name on there. But Martin Kelly, I'm sorry, I don't mean I take you for granted. I just mean that you're there every day. Wake up. Martin Kelly. Comma. Go to sleep. Okay, there we go. Now then, he's on there now. That way I'll remember to post over to his page. Anyway, Whitney, how do you do? Um, anyway, I was just saying hi to Whitney because my gums are starting to hurt, finally. And I think it's bruising, mostly. It's not anything important. But anyway, I think we should take a look at some weather at the weather forecast and uh, the weather forecast today is going to be brought to us by um, let's see who is going to bring us some weather forecast how is about a Wallace resale Wallace resale is a um, Facebook based page that has all kinds of items that are resale items. Most of them are truck lot items. You know what I'm saying. They fell off the truck and now no, they were bought. They were bought on pallets and now they're separated the pallets and they have items for resale. Go on their Facebook page, check out their items peruse, and go to their uh, messages. And either Dawn or Rick will get back to I think it's Rick. Uh, Dawn or Rich, I think. Anyway, it's Dawn or somebody. Anyway, one of them will get back to you and let you know how much it's going to cost you and where to pick it up at. So, any hoot and any. That being said, it's time for the weather. Tonight's forecast, uh, temperature is like 79 degrees outside, and it's clear skies. Yes, that's right. Generally clear skies with a low of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, winds light and variable. And then for Sunday, August the 23rd, some clouds in the morning will give way to mainly sunny skies, 
And for the afternoon, highs around 93 degrees Fahrenheit, winds west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A mostly clear sky, lows near 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be light and variable overnight, and all this is going to add up to south to southwest winds at 5 miles per hour. And then Monday, August the 24th, sunny skies, yes, back to the sunshine. Highs near 95 degrees Fahrenheit with winds that are going to be light and variable out of the west to southwest at 5 miles per hour. And then clear to low uh, temperatures overnight with uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable south at about 4 miles per hour. Tuesday, August the 25th. Sunny skies, highs near 95. Winds are going to be light and variable south to southwest at five. What is this? A repeat? <laughs> south to southwest at five miles per hour. And then a mostly clear skies overnight with lows around 70 degrees Fahrenheit south at four miles per hour. Now that that can't be. Is that right? 95, 70, five miles per hour. It's an exact repeat of the day before. So if you like it, except for the fact, no, nope, 95 on both days. Boy, if you like that, if you like the, um, Monday, then don't forget to tune in for Tuesday because it's going to be a repeat day. And then sunny skies on Wednesday, August 26th, along with a few clouds. Highs around 93 degrees. See, we got a slight temperature drop that day, so it's not going to be our exact replica. We are going to have south uh, winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then a few clouds from time to time overnight with lows only around 73 degrees, which is a little higher temperature than the uh, overnights for Monday and Tuesday. Okie dokie, and then Thursday. Yes, Thursday to wrap up our final five-day day of our five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Mm, Thursday, August the 27th. Mostly cloudy skies with a scattered thunderstorm, mainly in the morning. Highs around 90 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 50%. Partly cloudy skies during the evening and a few showers developing late during the night. Lows around 71 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 30%. And there you have your five-day forecast for the St. Charles Viewing Area brought to you by Wallace Resale on Facebook. All righty, there you go. Wallace Resale on Facebook. Don't forget to get there soon as you can. Can you? Well, I tell you, that's where you want to be. Okie dokie. That's it for the weather. Weather be gone. Whether, whether, whether be gone, whether or not, you laugh a lot, you're going to be weather. I went all the out to uh, wa wa Wally World today. That's right, Wally World. Wally World is the fun, exact, happy, happy place to go. If you really like shopping and you really like to stroll, you can go all the way into Wally World and walk a mile away to get from one end of the store to the other one and you might even be able to make it there in a single day. Oh, you go around the store from one corner to the other and it's gonna be a heck of a time not bumping into each other. Yep, there's gonna be somebody here and somebody there. Ran into somebody but I know not where. Caught, caught up with some people over in the uh, in the uh, pharmacy department as a matter of fact it was somebody while i was trying to pick up some therapy's equipment whoa anyway that being said let's try to find us a song i just kind of made that up on the way along the way along the way hey hey Moon River. that's what we'll sing Song lyrics, Moon River. Moon River, wider than a mile. I'm crossing you in style someday. 
a dream maker, you heart breaker. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. Two drifters off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. We're after the same rainbows in, waiting around the bin. My huckleberry fin, moon, river, and me. Moon, river, wider than a mile. I'm crossing you in style, oh dream maker, oh your heart breaker, wherever you're going, I'm going your way, to drifters off to see the world, there's such a lot of world to see. We're after that same rainbow's in, waiting around the bin, my huckleberry friend, Moon River, and me. There you go. That's Moon River. It was a Audrey, Audrey Hepburn version of it, so it was kind of probably cut short. Uh... Because, well, it looks like she's the only one. Oh, there's an Andy Williams. Andy Williams sing it too. Did it and dad and beat and do the bow. But I need it, eat it, boop, bow, bow. Did it and that bad and eat it, boop, that bow. Did it, bop, and beat up, and bow, 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 but it do. Did it, bow, da, dee, dee, dum. Bow, beat up, bow, da, dee, dee, dum. Bow, beat up. But I... Yep, same song. Okay. I guess they just double-versed it like I did. Uh-oh. Eyes are getting really big again. Shouldn't have ate the tapioca pudding. Guess I'm going to have to start checking my sugar. Yes, sir. Not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Okay, here we go. Um... See if I can still read. Um, I was thinking of another song that I wanted to sing. Oh, yeah. Um, song lyrics, King of the Road. It's a Roger Miller tune. Trailers for cellar rent, rooms to let fifty cents. No phone, no pool, no pants. I ain't got no cigarettes. All the two hours of a pushing broom buys an eight by twelve four bit room. I'm a man of means by no means, king of the road. Third box car, midnight train, destination banger, Maine. Old worn out suit and shoes don't pay no union dues. Okay, that's that. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna have to. I'm smoking old stogies I have found, short but not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road, I know every inch near on every train, all their children and all their names, and every handout in every town, and every lock that ain't locked when nobody's around. Oh, I'm singing trailers for sale or rent, rooms to let fifty cents. No phone, no pool, nor pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. Ah, but two hours of a pushing broom. Pause and eight by twelve for a beige room. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. Trailers for salary. 
roofs to let fifty cents. No phone, no pool, nor pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. Ah, oh, but two hours of a pushing room. Buys an eight by twelve four bedroom. All right, there you have it. Right there is almost messed up. All right, what's next? Uh, what was that first one I sang? Uh, I am still rolling, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, let's try song lyrics, Blue Moon. Blue moon, blue moon, blue moon, blue moon, blue moon, moon, blue moon, 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 blue moon, blue moon, 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 a moon, blue moon. I saw you standing alone, moon, 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 blue moon. With a dream in my heart, moon, 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 blue moon. Without a love of my own, blue moon, 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 blue moon. You know just what I was there for, moon, 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 blue moon. You heard me saying a prayer for a moon, moon. Boom, blue moon, someone I could really care for. Then there suddenly appeared before me, the only one my arms will ever hold. I just said somebody whisper, please adore me. And when I looked, the moon had turned into a gold. Blue moon, moon, moon. Blue moon. No, I'm. Now I'm no longer alone. Blue moon. Moon moon. Blue moon. Without a dream in my heart. Moon moon. Moon blue moon, without a love of my own. Moon moon moon, blue moon. Moon moon moon, blue moon. Moon moon moon, blue moon. Moon moon, blue moon. A blue moon. All right, all right. Let's see. I'll see you one and raise you another. Oh, I'll see you one and raise another. Um, let me try this. I don't know if I can find anything I know for sure. Song lyrics, the ink spots. Genius, 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 genius. There they are. Doop. Anything that I know. Fools grow wise, kiss in a rose. A lovely way to spend an evening. Un address. Oh, there we go. That's the one for me. Address unknown. Not even a trace of you. All oh, what I'd give to see the face of you. I was a fool to stay away from you so long. That's not it. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Eh, that's not the one I'm thinking of. That's the ink spots ones, and that's not the one. Um, here, we, here's the one I'll use. Song lyrics: Return to Sender. And this is an Elvis Presley version. And I really got good at this one whenever I was uh, working over at the. Uh, um, uh, McGillicuddy's, yes sir, E. Bob McGillicuddy's over there on 
Raymond Drive right next door to the, uh, well, the next building over from the uh, um, VFW post over there. Yes, sir. Uh, Aloysius McGillicuddy's. And then it turned into uh, uh, Jim Van Elder's uh, Rock and Roll Club or something. I don't remember wh what it turned into, but I used to be a bar back in there and way back in the day. And, well, I used to dance and sing behind the bar. Go ahead and figure. And, of course, the floors were wet, so I could twist it, and I could shout it, and I could dance it, and I could really move. But, anyway, here's one of them I used to really move to. Return to Cinder. Return to Cinder. I gave a letter to the postman. He put it in his sack. Brightly early the next morning, he brought my letter back. She wrote upon it, return to sender, address unknown, no such number, no such zone. We had a quarrel, a lover's spat. I write, I'm sorry, but the letter keeps coming back. She wrote upon it. So then I dropped it in the mailbox and sent it to... Special, I uh, special D. Bright and early next morning, it came coming right back to me. She wrote upon it, return to sender, address unknown, no such number, no such phone. Oh, hold on a second, folks. Well, this time, I'm going to take it myself and put it right in her hand. And if it comes back the very next day, then I'll understand. The writing on it, a return to send it. Address unknown, I know such number, I know such zone. A return to send it. a return to send it. A return to sender. A return to sender. All right. Mm, that oh, was Elvis my Presley. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find story time. That's right. Gather the kids around the old television and see what we can see. That's not on the page I wanted. This is the one I want. I'll read that page number. And like a page, I'll run. Oh, she wrote about it. Return to send it. Address unknown. Oh, that's a no such number. No such home. She wrote upon it. Return to sender, address unknown, there's no such number, and no such phone, she wrote a phone in, return to sender. All right, I don't know if I've done uh, Abraham's family or Abraham's story. So, we're going to try it today. And if I did, you all can let me know tomorrow that I've done it already, okay? This is Abraham and Lot. Abraham took all his possessions and headed north out of Egypt with Sarah and Lot. Lot was Abraham's nephew, and he followed Abraham when he left Haran. By now, Lot was also very wealthy and had large herds of cattle and sheep and many servants. They traveled to a place and set up their tents between Bethel and Ai, where Abraham had previously built an altar to worship God. This area was very fru uh, 
fertile with gardens and grass for the animals to eat and rivers for them to drink from. But Abraham's and Lot's herds of cattle and flocks of sheep living together meant that there were too many animals in one place. There wasn't enough food and water to support both of their large herds. The, the, man, the men caring for the animals began to argue with each other. Abraham's workers said, Our master is more important. His animals should get to the food and water. On the other hand, Lot's workers thought that Abraham's herds should go somewhere else to, uh, so that Lot's animals could have the food and water. Their arguing got worse day by day. Abraham knew that this arguing would not, was not good. So he went to Lot and said, this arguing has to stop. After all, we are related. We need not. To, we need to go get along with each other. You choose which piece of land you want to live on. Then we will separate, and I'll take my family and animals somewhere else. If you want to move to some other place, I'll stay here. But if you want to stay here, then I'll move. It's up to you. You may all. Oh. Lot looked at the beautiful Jordan Valley. It had lots of grass and water. It was as beautiful and fertile as the land of Egypt and was the best land around. So Lot chose the land for himself and for his animals. He moved his family, servants, animals, and tents near the city called Sodom. The people of Sodom were very wicked. They sinned against God all the way, or by the way they lived. By the way they lived. Lot didn't care, though. He knew it was the best land for his herds and flocks. Abraham stayed in the land of Canaan. God said to him, Look around you. Look as far as your eye can see. In every direction, I will give all of this land to you. It will belong to you and your children. God wasn't finished with his promises yet. He then said, I'll give you children. You will have so many descendants that you won't be able to count them. So, go for a walk and see your new homeland. Abraham did just that. Then he built an altar and worshipped God. Here and there you have it. That was the end of that. Abraham and Lot's story. So let's, let's see. What's the next story in line? No, that's not it. Daniel in the lion's den. Very good story, and we're going to go ahead and put it out there for tonight. Daniel in the lion's den. A long time ago, Darius was the king of Jerusalem. He had passed a new law against praying towards Jerusalem. In spite of this new law, Daniel continued to pray three times a day, every day. There were a few men who were jealous of Daniel, and Daniel was a very honest and hard-working man. But all the other king's ministers who were jealous of him could find nothing to remove him from the kingdom of Jerusalem. So they made an evil plan to get rid of Daniel. So they went to King Darius and complained against him for not obeying the law. When kind Darius heard this, he was very upset. Daniel was one of his presidents, and he didn't, did not want to punish him 
for not obeying the law. The king tried very hard to save him, but the wicked men of his court were insistent upon Daniel's punishment. Seeing no other uh, option, the king had to punish Daniel. He was thrown into a den of lions. The mouth of the cave was then sealed with a big stone. But King Darius was worried about Daniel. He could not sleep the entire night. The next morning, as he woke up, he hurried and ran to the den. He called out for Daniel, and to his so amazement, instead of hearing the lion's roar, he heard Daniel's voice. Daniel told the king, God saves me by ascending an angel, and the angel shucks the lion's mouth. The lions did not hurt me at all. King Darius was very happily took Daniel out of the cave and punished those wicked men who had plotted an evil plan against him. And so there you have it. That was a short story of Daniel and the lion's den. Okie dokie, hey, looks like it's time for our portion of, of the program called Our Daily Bread. Yes, sir, and our daily bread's devotion is called Faithful Until the Harvest. Now, the daily bread portion of the program is brought to us today by The Bible with Frisco 2020. The Bible with Frisco 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Psalms 110 through 112 and 1 Corinthians 5 are the verses to be read today for the Bible with Frisco 2020. So don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Frisco 2020. All right, here we go. The daily bread portion of the program, Faithful Until the Harvest. And we will be reading Galatians 6, 7 through 10. Galatians 6, 7 to, through 10. Do not be deceived. God can be mocked. Nah, do not be conceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please the, their flesh, from their flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to pleasure the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. And there you have it. Hey, that was Galatians 6, 7 through 10, which was the daily bread portion of the program's scripture for today in a faithful until the harvest. And that was all brought to you by the Bible with Briscoe 2020. Yes, the Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Do not forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2020. Okay, there you have it, folks. Hey, that looks like the end of it for me. I'm just going to have to say, oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a uh, time to go. Oh, I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are ya? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.